Hello, I'm not Chuck, and today I'm taking a little drive. I'm on one of just the secondary roads in rural West Tennessee, and I'm on the way, as perhaps you noticed on the sign, to Davy Crockett Lake, which is right here. Davy Crockett Lake is uh, about 87 acres. It's a little watershed lake. Some people come here to fish. They fish off the bank or they fish out of a boat. Uh, they do have a no wake rule on the whole lake. So it's strictly for non-motorized boats or motorized boats that run at very low speed. It's a nice little place to come just to uh, get away from things for a while. It's early in the morning and we're driving uh, into the sun so you may have a little trouble seeing the lake. I'm not here so much for the lake today as I am to tell you about an improvement that I made on my motorized camera panner that I showed you a few weeks ago in another video. I'll put a link to the video up here. But today I thought we'd come out to uh, Davy Crockett Lake so I could give you a demonstration of what I've changed on the panning mechanism. You may recall that I had some buttons on the box that held a camera. Well, I've taken the buttons away. And now instead of buttons to control the uh, panning, I can do it with a remote control. Ah, hi. Nice to see you this morning. So, if I didn't make you terribly dizzy with that quick pan, uh, I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you a little bit more about what the camera does. I'm using a Sony brand remote. It really doesn't matter uh, what kind of remote it is as long as it uses the Sony protocol, which is called the SIRC and it's used on a lot of television remote controls. Uh, this particular one is uh, a cheap one that I bought on eBay. I liked it because it has uh, big buttons on it and because it doesn't have as many buttons as some of the others you might see. Here comes a young man into frame. He's uh, apparently been fishing or going fishing. He just uh, looked over at me as if to say, who in the world are you talking to? But uh, anyway, that's what a lot of people do. They come out here to fish. They don't catch a lot of fish, but uh, they have some fun while they're fishing. I'll uh, turn you back around and let you have a look at the lake. I know the panning is a little bit quick and probably in future videos, even though I plan on using the panner quite a bit, I will probably edit out the pans so that uh, they're not annoying. I can control the camera more than what you have just seen though. I can turn it a little bit left or I can turn it back straight ahead or I can turn it a little bit right or even more right. There's the young man going up the hill. He's on the way to I guess the far end of the lake to try to see us, uh, what kind of luck he'll have there. We'll go down and I'll sit at one of those picnic tables and if the light is okay, I'll give you a close-up look at the camera, the panning mechanism, and so forth.
Here's the unit that I had on the dash of the truck. As you can see, it's uh, three main parts. There's the camera itself, the box that contains the motor and the control circuitry, and a battery pack. There are two LEDs on the front of the box. One is uh, green. It lights up when I turn the power on to the unit. There you can see it lit up. The second is a blue LED. It lights up whenever a signal is being received from the remote control. For example, I push the button on the remote and you can see the, the uh, blue LED flicker. That indicates that the infrared signal is being received by this device and the uh, m information is being conveyed to a microcontroller which is on some circuitry inside the box. The on and off switch for the entire unit is on the back. If I turn the switch off, the green LED goes off and the unit is completely powered down. Of course the camera is still on because it's controlled by its own on and off switch. The batteries are eight AA batteries which make up a 12 volt battery pack. On this end of the box you can see there's a jack there that's for programming the microcontroller and there's a jack here where the power from the battery pack plugs into the complete unit. In operation I can use the remote control by pressing one of the 10 buttons on the remote. I can cause the camera to turn a little bit left or back to center or a little bit right back to center or a little bit more left, back to center, a little more right, back to center, a lot left, back to center, or a lot right, and then back to center. The unit will also turn the camera a complete 180 degrees. So now it's looking at you, and me too, I suppose, and then back to center. So that's pretty much the way it operates. The other buttons, except for the 10 numerical buttons on the remote, none of the other buttons are used at the present time. However, the entire unit is programmable, so it's possible I could add some functions from the other buttons uh, on the remote. That's about it in terms of operation. I'll put together another video which talks more about the internals and the circuitry of the control box and how it's all uh, connected together. I'll show you some video of that for those of you who are technically inclined. And uh, I'll discuss a little bit of the software about how it all works. But for this video, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and let's see, there was one other thing. Oh yeah, don't forget, I'm not Chuck.